Hi everyone, Christine Blasdale here from Out of the Box with Christine, and I'm joined by Susie Pruden of Itty Bitty Publishing. And we want to tell you about a master course, an incredible master course on why you need to write your book and create your podcast now in these times, right now. Right, Susie? Right. And in this four hour digital online course, Christine and I show you how to use your podcast and your book to not only promote your brand, but how to profit from these powerful business builders as well and use the opportunity you have right now to pivot and prosper. Also included in this package, there's eBooks, you get the four hour course, but also you're gonna get eight hypnosis programs on how to build a wealthy mindset, an abundance mindset, how to write a best-selling book, all of it. Follow the link that's associated with this video. Make sure you follow the link and it's $79.97. Go right now to that link. Out of the Box with Christine, the podcast for conscious folk. I am your host, Christine Blasdale. This program is intended to bring you a fresh perspective on this thing we call life. And in each and every episode, we're going to dive into the topics that matter most with lively conversations on issues such as business, health, wealth, love, and transformational healing, all with the goal of creating a better world and becoming a happier human being. I will be your tour guide on this epic adventure, and as we embark on this journey, our ultimate goal is going to be one of transformation to our highest potential. And now, let's get out of the box. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Out of the Box with Christine. I am your host, Christine Blasdale. And wow, wow, wow. We are living in unusual times. And so we need to do some unusual things. And I, we're going to be doing it today with not an unusual person, but a fantastic one. Oh, my God. She is so amazing. Uh, also known as the prepared performer. My guest today is Molly Mahoney, who is Oh my goodness, she's a digital growth strategist who specializes not only in Facebook video content, but how to transition, how to help entrepreneurs, businesses transition from that brick and mortar, how you doing, handshake. Well, now that we're in this pandemic, we're going to be having to shift, pivot, and prosper, as they say. <laughs> and uh, joining us today live is the wonderful Molly Mahoney. Hello, darling. Hello. I am so grateful to be able to finally have this time with you. We've been talking about it, it seems like, for years, even though it's not been years, but it feels like it. I'm just so, so, so grateful. And if nothing else awesome came out of this craziness, this came out of it. So there you go. Well, I, you know, I just, um, I was speaking with um, a, a wonderful uh, a woman just the other day who is an expert in her field and I'm an expert in my field. And what we've decided to do is to join forces like the dynamic duo. And it, I made the analogy is, you know, Superman uh, or Iron Man and Wonder Woman are great on their own. But what happens when there's something that's, you know, facing the world and they can get together and create this super team, right? The Marvel, you know, whatever they're called. The Avengers. The Avengers. Yes. And, and this is a great time for people in their expertise box, whatever it is, to join forces and to help one another not only survive, I don't want to survive, I want to thrive. And that's yeah. why um, I knew we had to have you on the show and particularly at this moment in time. And look how happy, look how you look so fresh and my roots are all growing out. Oh and my I, gosh. Mine are all sprayed on right now. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get that? <laughs> I know. My husband was like, you want me to pick you up some hair dye at the store? And I was like, Psh, I've already got that. Like, I've got it all stocked. I've been stocked. That was one thing I didn't have to worry about. With my six person. months supply. <laughs> I know. Seriously. You know, I do love one thing that you said there about the ex. You said I was speaking to somebody who was an expert and what she does and that you're an expert in what you do. And I think this is actually a time 
when people are able to really dig in and figure out what am I an expert at? Like, how can I serve? Where we can kind of reinvent that because, you know, maybe we were hiding from it in the past or didn't really truly recognize the need. And it's allowed us to take a step back to look at what those needs are and given us finally the kick in the tush maybe you needed to actually show up. So, well, and we have a, a lot of time on our hands at the moment. You know, okay, I keep hearing about this elusive time on our hands. And as I've shared with you, I'm oh, like, yeah. who well, are these people that have time on their hands? But have you noticed? I've noticed that I'm busier now than ever. Yeah. I think for people like us who actually understand the internet, it is, you know, what we've I, I'm sure you as well. It's like what I've been trying to convince people to do for several years. And now everyone that I haven't spoken to since <laughs> high school has messaged me like, how do I, how do I turn on zoom? How do I go live? Which I'm so grateful to be able to have the knowledge to be able to help people. So, Oh, you were, you, you've been doing this for, for years and you've been speaking on it for so many years too, um, in live events. And you're also a performer. I mean, you, you, you're a singer, you're a phenomenal singer, um, just an over, uh, overall amazing uh, entertainer and entrepreneur as well. So you, you know, especially you, you've, you've been doing live performances for years and speaking to audiences in, you know, in person and you've had to even pivot and sh shift a little bit of your business as well, right? Yeah. So I think maybe that's part of why I'm so like crazy about how we, you know, we have this opportunity now to show up and serve and to make that shift because I did that. So I was a musical theater performer in New York on tours on, I was also a singer in Vegas and cruise ships, all of that. And I had a business that was at home teaching voice lessons. And uh, I realized that my time was, I had what I like to call a pile of busy balls because I was actually <laughs> teaching. <laughs> I call, oh, and this is perfect for where you are, but I also, <laughs> whenever I tell this story, I have a slide with a, a bunch of balls on it that say busy. And I say they're actually busy boomerangs because they always bounce back. They don't go away. <laughs> But now all of those boomerangs that most of us were holding on to in real life have dropped. And so that's what happened to me back, you know, three years ago when, when Facebook Live first came out, almost four years ago. And I realized that there was this opportunity to not be driving to 10 different locations, which is what I was doing at the time. Right and running out of time to see my kids and such, I realized that I could actually do it online. And it took some tweaking and figuring out, but once I figured it out, it really is this magical opportunity. And there's so many things that we can do through the internet. So we're so lucky. <laughs> as, long we, as long as we still have it, let's use I it. Don't. Yeah, I heard somebody say that on a call yesterday, or last week, an uh, interview, he said, you know, and if the internet goes away, you have your phone. So we still, and we all, that's a panic to the side. <laughs> no, data charges do apply. Yes, exactly. But so, so, um, so why don't we let our listeners and our viewers know a little bit about um, the work that you do. So let's say, let's say you, uh, you, you have someone who their, their livelihood, their, you know, their day-to-day -day job was something that is not online and I know, I know it, it's a wide range and it depends upon the person, the client that you're working with, okay? But the average person who is finding themselves, I can't go, so I can't go to my physical job now. I have the kids locked in the house with me. And, and what the f do I do, Molly? Yeah. Okay. So I actually developed a framework for this shiz and I think <laughs> yes. it will work for literally any human. And that's usually the opposite of, I'm sure what you talk about also, like you should have a niche of a type, you know, of a person who actually serve. But I'm going to tell you that right now in these crazy times, this is, if you're a human being and you're listening, you can do this. So, okay. <laughs> okay. So everybody pay attention. Lean in. Yeah. Lean in. <laughs> <laughs> Not too far in. There's pores and things. Okay. True, true. Okay. So the first thing is you have to figure out who you are as a human being. And if you don't stop and look at, hold on, who am I? <laughs> like, none of the rest of the stuff is going to work. Yeah. And 
I, I had a friend say recently that we're really, even if we've had a, a successful business, even if it's been something that's been working online, we're all a startup right now. Word. Because everything's shifting, whether it's, whether, you know, my business, I'm fortunate that we actually can, can our, what we offer fits in really perfectly for what the whole world needs right now. But the way that our clients are feeling is different than how they were feeling three weeks ago. Right. So we have to reconfigure the way that we have our business foundations in place. So the first thing is, who are you as a human being? Um, do you know about the quesadilla of awesome? Do you know what that is? No, but I oh love gosh, quesadillas. I okay. Yeah. So this is, this is like, this is really my key to being confident on camera, but it's also the key to figuring out how you're going to make this shift. So okay. lucky, lucky ducky. So here it is. I want you to take everything. And if you, if you don't know what you're going to do business wise, like if you had a, a job and you find yourself without any you know, way to, uh, you don't know what you're going to do to make money. Um, you can do this also, but what you're going to do is you're going to take everything that it is that you offer in your business. Maybe it's your, your job that you're not able to work at right now. The benefits that you provided by doing that, all the things that you're kind of known for, take them in your hand like this. And I know you may be listening, but Christine, do it with me right now, just for okay. those who are watching it on camera. So we've got our hands kind of holding this invisible ball. And in this invisible ball, we're filling it up with all of the benefits that we provide in the thing that we are known for as our occupation or career or business, right? We're going to take it and we're going to go throw it in the air. And now it's floating above us like my yeah. in Willy Wonka. Yeah. <laughs> right? Okay. And what are you left with? Uh... Just yourself in bad hair. <laughs> <laughs> or amazing hair, depending on how you look at it. Oh, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, you're left with you. And that's really the, I believe, and I have seen it proven time and again, that that's the reason that people get freaked out. Because we're putting judgment on ourselves. We're not confident in what we are. We're like, Ugh, I'm not, oh. I'm not enough. Things. Yeah. I'm not I enough, right. Know, I'm not enough. I don't know what I'm doing. And so if you recognize that you are enough and that you're actually amazing, it's going to be a much better starting point for this. So I know that that's like easier said than done. So I have a little acronym that makes up the quesadilla of awesome. And it's called the quesadilla of awesome because everyone who lives has something that makes them uniquely awesome. Exactly. Even if it's just that you make an amazing quesadilla. <gasps> oh, I see that. Okay. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the acronym is the word save. It has five letters, which you may think save has four letters, but I can't spell. So I spell wrong on purpose just to, so everyone else gets over it. <laughs> We're all going to be okay. <laughs> Did you do it with two S's? No, two A's actually. Oh. <laughs> save. So save. Save. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'll go through real quick. The first thing is your skill sets, the things that you're naturally gifted at, that you've always been gifted at, your skill sets. The next thing is your appearance. And so you've got to find things about your appearance that you can celebrate because when you show up, and now, you know, the only way we could show up is on the internet. <laughs> when you show up, if you're uncomfortable about the way that you look, you're going to, your energy is going to change. Totally. So are, totally. Right? Okay. So even if it's like making jokes about your hair or whatever, right? Like we have things I was telling Christine before we went, we started this, that I didn't, couldn't find my regular glasses. These glasses are like huge. But I, I love like them. Glasses. They're yeah, cool. Whatever. They're like superpowers. I don't know. Right. So we want to find, you want to find things about your appearance that you love and it's going to be different. Like you and I are both a little loud in our <laughs> <A> tad. <laughs> but for, and for some people that's going to be too much, right? For right. other people, if you're someone who's more subdued and lovely, you're going to show up and own your subdued loveliness, right? I got gotcha. you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So your appearance. The next, and it's, remember, it's not about what other people think about you. It's about what you think about you. Boom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The next thing is your activities that you love. Now, maybe some of these activities are things that you're not able to do anymore, but also maybe some of these activities are things that you wanted to do but you haven't actually done them because you've been out doing other things and now you're trapped in your house so you can actually do them. <laughs> My son and I made felted soap out of raw wool and did a video with it last week. Um, it's just something I've been, I used to do a lot and I've been wanting to do for a while, but I've been putting it off. Wait, a wool soap? Oh my gosh, it's the coolest thing ever. Why does that not sound pleasant? It's really pleasant. <laughs> is it like a little scrubber, like a loofah? Yeah. So it, it makes like, it's, um, so wool has antibacterial properties in it. And if you use merino wool, then it's like super soft also. And it felts together really nice. So it makes this little like sweater around your soap. 
it's and they're really pretty. Did you make a YouTube video, a how-to YouTube video on it? A Facebook Live of it. We did a Facebook Live. Yeah. You better put it on YouTube too. I mean, we should. You're right. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> totally. How to? Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. All right. Okay. Thanks. So, so <laughs> your activities that you love. Yes. Yeah. Then the next thing is on the list. So activities can be singing, dancing, knitting, crocheting, hiking, uh, whatever. Spell, crossword puzzles. What are those activities that you love? The next thing is your values. And you want to be as clear about your values as possible. The louder that you can be about your values, the more that you will attract people that you actually want yeah. to be working with. So true. Right? Yeah. So true. We'll come back on that on a story. Okay. But you okay. are so right. Yes. I like it. Okay. And then the last one is, and this one's kind of crazy, but it is the E is for things you like to eat. Oh, yum. Okay. okay. Yeah. And I have a trick, which this is a great way to get engagement on social media, because if you can find a food that's polarizing that people either love or they hate, and you can talk about it consistently, it's crazy. So I'm going to have you go to your personal Facebook page. Do you know about this trick that I do? No, but I've already have, a, I already have food items in my mind. Well, oh, no, I love no. It. yeah. I, okay. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> You're going to go to your personal Facebook page and you're going to do these five words. The five words are Brussels sprouts. Yes. That was the first one no. on my list. Was it really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I've literally been teaching this Brussels sprouts tip for, I don't know, three or four years and it works every flipping time on okay, your personal so, profile. Uh, yeah. On your personal page. Facebook, yeah. Per, not your business page, your personal, your Facebook personal page, account. Right? Yep. And you're going to write Brussels sprouts. Yes or no. Okay. Question mark. And then leave it. People are going to come out of nowhere. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, I haven't heard from them in years. And they're not going to write just yes or no. They're going to write like, oh my gosh, yes, with bacon and honey or whatever. Oh, they're going to be like, absolutely not. It's the worst ever. My mom used to boil them and I've been, you know, I'm haunted by them ever since. So it's the, it, it digs up the, the juice of the algorithm as well by feeding Facebook and letting them know that like, hey, I have something that people are talking about. So more people will start to see your content as well. Over Brussels sprouts. Over Brussels sprouts. There's like a whole system that we have about that. Well, you know what? You know what's interesting is that I, I can post like, and I can post a video or a, a, a post something very important. Like, I mean, like life-savingly important. Yes. And it gets like one like, you yeah. know, one, it's the same person too. It's God bless them. It's the same person that likes every single freaking post I, I have. But then when I did the videos and I've done three of them, when I do the Vegemite videos. Oh yeah, totally. Well, especially for Australians. Cause they yeah. were, they were born with Vegemite in their mouth, like on their pacifier. I don't know what it is, but I'll do the, the Vegemite videos with my wife. She's trying to get me to eat the Vegemite and I, indulge her i know what it's going to taste like and i just do it like on a little piece of bread and a little tiny little bit of vegemite and it's my reaction to it those videos get so many comments so many likes and so many views they watch them over and over again because they're like ha, ha, look at christine she's about ready to puke you know <laughs> Okay, Isn't that, so this, Isn't that it, weird? It's crazy. It's super weird. And so okay. this is actually, I know we're not fully talking all about social media ninja tricks right today, but it's important if you are going to take your business anywhere, you are going to have to use the internet. So I think it is a good, a yeah. good thing. Yeah. There's this thing that I, this concept that I've created called the social triangle and it's you. So you have to actually show up, which goes back to our, <laughs> excuse me, show yourself. And then it's also the person that you are connecting with. So your ideal client, maybe a power partner, maybe a podcast host that you want to be featured on. And then it's the platform. So you have to pay attention to the platform and Brussels sprouts allows mm -hmm. you to fill, meet all three of those things in, in the social triangle. And then you have, the thing is like, yeah, you'll get a lot of comments and then what do you do from there? So from there, you look at the people who have actually commented and you start to recognize, is this somebody that I want to be connecting with more you know, for a certain area of my business, or maybe even just as a friend or a family member that I forgot to talk to. And you can actually segment your friends on your friends list and intentionally show up and network with those people on social media mm -hmm. so that next time you post your important life-saving information, they'll be more likely to see it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> they just want to see you. <laughs> 
<laughs> they just <laughs> they just want to go yeah right <laughs> they just want to see me eat vegemite or uh, have or you know or they comment on some that's the same thing when oh, i was at uh, i was at a, an event um uh, a boot camp let's just put it this way i was at a at a boot camp at a, at a, at a multi-day seminar um, a, a while okay. ago, right? When we were allowed to, to be oh, around yes, humans. Right? And, and they, had, uh, they had, for their social media expert, they had two. Yes. Okay. And, this, and they had like an hour to talk to everybody. And the social media experts were, I think, a 22-year-old and a 24-year-old who had Instagram uh, accounts and they had like you know six hundred thousand followers and all that and so I was thinking well okay they're gonna tell us you know <laughs> the tips and the tricks to get that many followers and then and I was listening to him and I was like I'm not you know when people talk and you don't you're you're like I, I hear you but I don't I'm not getting anything so then I went to the to their social media they're all in bikinis. And I'm like, yeah. well, of course you're going to get. Yeah, totally. I mean, seriously. Have you like, seen that that's on my Facebook and Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. But that's yeah. not a strategy that we can all totally. use. Totally. You know? And I promised you that this is going to be stuff that every single human can use. <laughs> okay. Okay. Which is perfect. So you take, this, you take this whole quesadilla of awesome idea and then – you make this list. You're going to fill out these categories. You're going to put 20 things that make you a uniquely awesome human being. And oh, so, wow. Okay. That's, yeah. That can be a challenge for people. Totally. So that's why I have the acronym there because you're going to fill out each of those categories. So 20 things that make you awesome, a uniquely, a uniquely awesome, awesome individual. Human. human. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to take your fingers and you're going to yes. tap your fingers on your chest like little, like, you know, that bubbly sense of like, yes, this is me. Yes. That's what you want to feel before you start even thinking about how you're going to pivot. Before you show up on camera, before you do anything, you want to make sure that you're tapped into who you are so that you can bring that with you on this crazy journey. Exactly. Because also, if you are in desperation, uh, people can feel that and smell that, yeah. right? And so, so if you're coming. You're something that's fake. And then people are going to actually buy from you. And then you're going to be screwed because you're not going to be <laughs> you can't deliver. that fakeness for the rest of your life. <laughs> and what about, what about like when I was talking earlier about the idea of us individually being our own like superheroes, you know, whoever, whoever you want to be, if you want to be Wonder Woman, um, I personally, who do I like? Well, I kind of like Batman because I like the whole outfit and yeah. that, that deep voice kind of like that. Yeah, uh, but he's got some issues, <laughs> some psychological like issues. Personally, yeah, I don't but, know. If his, but whoever his... the superhero is, and the idea though also of joining forces, we can do this with technology, right? We can. Yeah. I just I just did a two day uh, training course with Susie Pruden on mm. uh, why you need to write your book. Yep. And especially now you can do it and doing an itty, you know, an itty bitty book. That's my yeah. book, by the way. That's the proof. Yeah. You can't see that. <laughs> you, can, you can literally write a book in a day. Uh, yeah. And the importance of, of creating your own podcast, but also being a guest on a podcast show. And we did this in two days. And if I would have done it by myself, okay, it, it would have a certain energy. But having her expertise and her knowledge, and we played off of each other, so it was beautiful. Yeah. And this is all while we're quarantined. Exactly. Right? It, I mean, it's like the magic of the way that humans are showing up. I mean, in the way, I will say also the way that animals are showing up, like there's dolphins swimming in Venice or whatever. Like <laughs> our dog is happier than he's ever been. You know, and I mean, I... I've been so focused on the way to support people business-wise in this, and I, I feel that sometimes I neglect to mention how grateful we are for the people who are out there helping like medical professionals and all of that. But I, I think if we sit here, could, you know, we do our best to stay home. We stay home, and we focus on how we can bring solutions forward. So, yeah. So actually, that is, which I did not plan this, that is actually the next step in this little framework. So you've got to figure out who you are as a person, and then you have to look at what problems are the people in your community experiencing? And this right. could be 
your ideal client if you have that already identified. But if you don't, go to the group that you're most connected with. So if you're connected with a mom's group, what problems are they experiencing? If you're connected with a, you know, the a rugby team, <laughs> trying to think of like something totally different than a mom's group but like maybe it's a rugby mom's group i don't know but where are the places that you're already connected and start listening for the problems that people are experiencing gotcha and then the third step would be figure out what solutions you have because as we were talking about with the expert thing you know back in the beginning of this uh chat we're all experts at something and and i don't i'm sure you've felt this or experienced this but sometimes the thing that we're the most gifted at is the thing that we don't think we can charge for or offer you just hit the nail on the head that is the was the whole subject of the conversation in this training that i did was that each of us have this amazing gift it you know and people say well you know I can't, I shouldn't write a book. I don't, I'm not an expert at anything. No, no, no. You're an expert in something. If you're a mom that knows how to feed a family of four for $10 a day or whatever, you're an expert. If you're someone who knows how to tinker on, you know, on cars in the garage, and especially if you're a woman, you, oh my God, you have an audience, but you're an expert. Everybody's an expert in something. And that there is an audience for you. And especially now with ev everybody's eyes and ears are they're on Facebook, they're on YouTube, they're, they're on the internet because we're kind of, we're kind of forced to do that. Right. Yeah. So, and, and I mean, more, so, that's like been the case for a while now, but more so than never. Facebook published something last weekend saying that they've had a 50% increase in people going live which is wow. awesome, but it's also like now there's this extra added you know, noise of people who are going live with no strategy or people who are going live without a specific plan. So we have to make sure that you, A, have a way to stand out. Well, that's why we have you on the show to tell us. <laughs> so tell us, Molly, tell yeah, us, so, how do we well, stand like, out on Facebook Live? And, and, and but, but we should be doing these things before we even think about going on Facebook Live, right? Yeah, or, you've got to make sure yeah. that you have a, and, and I'm, you know, I'm always talking about like, just push the dang button, just push the dang button. And uh, you have to make sure that you're actually, you've got a strategy in mind. So if you're just, you know, I've seen people say that you should do like a 30 day live challenge where you go live every day and then people go live and they're like, Hey, Facebook land, I'm going live because so-and-so told me that I should do this live thing for 30 days. That is what I call the live streamer who cried wolf. Yeah. Yeah. Because nobody's going to care. Exactly. And then by the time you do something really like, yes, you've got, you, you've gotten your courage worked up or whatever, your confidence may be better by video 30. But meanwhile, you've pushed all of your people away because you've been showing up and saying, hi, somebody told me to go live. I don't really know what I'm talking about. Exactly. So you should have some strategy, right? Yeah. So even if it, even if your only strategy at first is to just show up and provide value and that comes in the form of entertainment um education motivation. motivation yeah usually i save entertainment for the end i don't know why i said it backwards this time but yeah you know if you know how to teach somebody how to do something show up and teach everybody's looking to learn all different kinds of things right now exactly and then once you start to realize what people are really you know digging maybe you need to launch a vegemite channel <laughs> <laughs> just kidding i'm <laughs> sure the makers of vegemite will throw a lawsuit at me <laughs> right but maybe i mean there's maybe there's something to be said for like coming together i could rename it i could call it vagemite oh that would be <laughs> okay I'm, don't anybody don't anybody else get that domain trademark i have a trademark lawyer who could help you with that <laughs> okay so so okay so uh so we do want to so we want to encourage people now we're talking about that that um that transition right mm -hmm. we're talking about people who are used to going to yeah. brick and mortar places for uh we're talking to people that are used to having a boss an employer because that's a, a lot we, yeah. we we have a lot of entrepreneurs who are kind of quick on their feet and and they're they're a little bit uh better equipped to do this transition okay because yeah. they're used to being solo in the world and really hustling but then there's a vast a lot of people who uh they're they're 
this is frightening for them. The, yeah. the whole idea of having to rethink, rebrand, reinvent themselves yeah. is And where do you get, I mean, I, I've heard from people, you know, like, where do you get the products to sell? Where do you get this stuff? So I actually have a program that is a, a system that we went through called Sell It First. And this is when I first launched my program, uh, Camera Confidence, I had launched a course that did horribly. It failed because I was trying to teach artists how to cure the starving artist syndrome. And what I, we had a pilot with 15 people in it. It was amazing. And then when we launched full out, we had zero sales. I, you know, I'd raise the price a little bit, zero sales. And I realized the problem was, is that I was trying to convince them to cure the starving artist syndrome, meaning I was calling them starving artists as opposed to recognizing them for the amazing abundant artists that they are. Right. Right. So you so were reinforcing the, 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 the thing the that was the problem, right? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. So messaging is very important, right? So in that moment of like, huh, what could I do? Basically what I did in that moment is exactly what so many people can do right now is I just sourced as many ideas as possible. Like what solutions could I provide? And I literally like without any judgment about it, stop yourself from judging the final outcome and just write down as many ideas as you have of ways you could help people. Gotcha. And and then see, like, really the best thing to do is to follow the opportunity. So make sure that it's something that, yes, you're connected to. Yes, you're passionate and happy about. And I love it. Shailene Johnson talks about this, how she had like three jobs, three things that she could have done that were all potentially successful and that she loved, but she went for the one that had the biggest opportunity right now. Gotcha. And I mean, it could be that you, what we did was we just, we had a, I had an idea that maybe instead of teaching performers how to have a business, I could teach business owners how to perform, which goes back to what we're talking about, where the thing that we're actually, like, I have my BFA in theater. I've, never, you know, I've performed all over the world, but I never thought about teaching other business owners how to do that, even though that's like what I'm actually an expert at. So I, I switched everything and all I had was a Facebook group. I had nothing else. And I sold our program for $47 when we first launched it. Nothing but a Facebook group. And I said, hey, I have this idea. I'm going to teach you this thing in this group. Do you want to be a founding member? And we did it. It was awesome. People got great results. The next month we raised the price to 97. I added more stuff into it. The next month we raised it to 197. I did it again for those 30 days. And by that point I realized like, wait, we have something here. Yes. And cut to by the end of three months, we had done $50,000 in sales. Wow. Wow. And not having to necess not having to ship out a, a, a product. Oh. Nothing. Not, I had no, yeah. I didn't even have like a platform. I used a Facebook group. That's all I had. Everything that I used was free. Gotcha. We and used Zoom, I think maybe for a couple of client calls. Right. <laughs> maybe I paid $14 a month for, but really the only resources I had was what was already in my brain and a spreadsheet and my phone. <laughs> like, exactly. So. so there's, so there is, there are ways that we can monetize our expertise it's just, it's having that strategy. And also, and I, and I'll say, and this is just a plug and I'm, you know, this is just a, a plug because I'm not getting paid to do this. Not an infomercial from Molly, but I will encourage people, especially if you're like a deer in the headlights and you're going, okay, this all sounds great. And you guys are laughing, but I'm scared and I don't know what to do. I want to encourage people to, um, to check you out and to, to work with you if possible, especially doing that transition. So, yeah. uh, we, and we've got a, we've got a few more minutes. We've got a little bit more time to go, but how, first of all, how can people get in touch with you? Uh, what's the best way to reach out to you? Yeah. So we have this amazing resource page. If you go to molly.live slash Christine, you'll find a few things there. Look at that. Molly.live slash Christine. Christine. So it's the wonder twin powers. It is. So it Molly, is. Molly. So is it Molly dot live forward slash Christine? They don't have to do a dot com or anything nope, like it's that. It's just the dot live is, is the same thing as the dot com. Isn't that cool? I know. You're so smart. It's fancy. <laughs> I and like that a lot. Y. I never think of explaining. That. Oh yeah. Oh, so it's M O L L Y dot L I V E forward slash Christine with a C H. And we'll put it in the uh, notes here too. So people can, can jump on that. So what's yeah, there? When you get there, you're going to, okay. So we have, uh, we have this video content <laughs> that literally 
will give you the kickstart that you need for shifting your business. It's how to plan out your videos. And we have in our camera confidence program, we have about 20 different types of videos that you can do that range from our main staple of videos, which is your value videos, which is what we go through in this planner, but also an adventure video, which is like just, you know, a, a Facebook live of the sunset or something. So it walks you through how to plan out your value videos, what to talk about, how often to do them, when to do them. There's a live video checklist there in there as well, because the best way to be able to build relationships is to be with people in real life. And that's not possible right now. So right. the next best thing is to do a live video. And so to show up for your community offering value to build that goodwill. And then we have this system called the three VO, which is value, value, value offer. So you give Correct. three value videos Correct. and then you make an offer graciously offer the opportunity to purchase whatever it is you have. Um, yeah. So that's a great place to get started. You'll also see on there, we have some other things, some of our favorite tools, a tool and a gear guide. And then we also have, um, we use a messenger bot on our business page, which is a really fun little automated message. And you can meet her. It says meet Molly bot which is fun. So lots of fun <laughs> things and really like deeply valuable content planner. So go grab well, it. Well, in the, in the tools section too, that's really important. I think people don't realize uh, when I speak with clients uh, about creating their own podcast or being a guest on podcast shows and, and, and really revamping their, um, their website and their media page. <clears throat> when I talk about some of the tools that I use, they're like, what that's you know that's available you know i use a particular scheduler that i love it helps me actually get clients and get paid mm -hmm. so i used to use a different one i won't name the other one and i won't name the, the current one but i used to use another one and it was it was boring it was ugly and i didn't have the ability to um to for people to actually purchase a session with me an in-depth session yeah. with me so um those tools and resources are really important and i know you because you've been doing this for so many years you must have an amazing um uh amazing closet full of tools and tricks and tips yeah. for so many cool things like you know ways when you if you watch any of our videos on our business page which is molly mahoney dash the prepared performer <laughs> <laughs> I have a sign behind me that says the prepared performer. Uh, but it's, so if you watch any of our videos there, you'll see that we have a frame that covers up, you know, part, it's like a, it, it adds branding to your videos. We have our logo, we have lower thirds that come across the screen and we do it all with this super easy tool called be live, be dot live. Oh, There's the dot yeah, live again. Yeah. Yeah. And it's crazy easy. And it, we have this whole framework called the map to millions on how to drive more traffic to your videos and be live makes it so easy to make that happen. So that's one of our favorite, our favorite tools. There's and be live, with be live, you can, you can record or uh, go live through be live and it will go onto your Facebook page. Yeah. You can do it onto your Facebook page and also onto YouTube. Oh, I know. And then it's almost like you're editing your video in real time because you can screen share, you can switch things out. You can bring lots of people up on the screen. It's, um, it's pretty awesome. Does it allow you the ability to also save that, um, be live video onto your, uh, desktop so you can later yeah. go back in and, oh, <laughs> yeah. You can even do it without going live. You can just do an online recording so you can record it with all that stuff and then download it. Well, that's a lot easier than what I'm, what I've, what I've been doing, because I've been doing the Zoom recordings for things, and then I do the video editor and put all the graphics and things like that in there. I, yeah. You can still do that if you have the, the video file. You can still do that. I'm sure. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's clever. Then, okay. Also, one because I we use Zoom when we need to have like you know more than four people on the screen at one time, yeah. but like for our group coaching calls. But one thing also which I hadn't thought about until just right now is that on Zoom we're always in this like the longer rectangle, like the horizontal videos are showing. And so that on the video, there's always a black border on the top and the bottom, you know? That's where I put in all my little graphics. Your stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which that makes sense. Totally. But on Be Live, you can- Oh, it fills change, up the whole? Yeah. You're, you can change the configuration of it. You can make it so there's a border on the top and the bottom and a background, or you can have it so your faces are filling up the whole screen. Well, I, I know that I can do, we're going to just play with this well, just since like we one can. Person. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Well, there you are. And then, and then if I hide that, let me see. There we go. So it's just me. And then when you talk. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Right. And then it switches back and forth. Yeah. So, but I like the idea that, uh, that you can record live, that it goes live on, 
uh, let me get out of my this thing that you can record live and it goes onto YouTube and Facebook. Is it at the same time? Um, depending on when this podcast is released, because <laughs> it's coming really soon. So oh, really, it's, yeah, it's not available right now, but I have word from the inside that it is coming soon. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. Yeah, well, I cool. want to release this. Yeah, no, I want to release this, uh, this show really soon because people need the yeah, I, information. Yeah. So, okay. So we have, we have a little bit, we have more time. We have a little bit more time. Um, so what are some other things that you want to, you want to convey to our listeners and our viewers about this moment in time and yeah. what they can do, actionable yeah, steps that they can do? I, so, you know, we talked about figuring out who you are, the, who the person is that you're going to serve and that the problems that you can solve with them, what kind of a solution you can bring them. And I really would love to just kind of leave us with the idea of like, this is a time to be creative and to think like there's so many fun things that you could do for businesses right now that would add to their bottom line. So I, I have a friend who hosts a bingo night at a bar and the bar is obviously closed. Obviously. He, obviously. So he started hosting bingo nights on zoom and the whole, it was like watching the Hollywood squares. It was so awesome. So it was anybody who wanted to join could join. And you know, as I was sharing this tip, I don't know if bingo is something that you have to actually legally get approval to do. If it's like a, if people are actually going to win money from it. So you may have to, if it, whatever. It could be so, a prize maybe. Yeah. It could be a prize. I don't know. I'm not your lawyer. So, yeah. but, but if <laughs> like game shows, things like that, where people you know, are coming together. I host a, a Broadway themed open mic night once a month. And what we decided to do is I took that sell it first program that I mentioned earlier. We have a whole course that we sell on that, that um, I have, you know, we've, we've run it live several times. We sell it for 497 and it was kind of on the back burner right now. I brought it back out, did it pay what you can to donate all of the money that we made through it to local theaters, actors, performers, people who are working backstage and dance studios in our area, because that's my background, obviously. Yeah. And we also took the vocal jam, which is the ghost light vocal jam. And we did it online and people only had to, they did a donation basically to be able to have a ticket. We had the whole zoom room was packed with people and everyone sang if they wanted to. We also had people who just came to cheer, to cheer on, but people from all over the world, we had someone from New Zealand come on and sing. We had one gal who wasn't planning on singing because she had a lot of people in her house. And she said, you know what? This has been so awesome. I'm going to go to my car and I'm going to sing a song from my car. So she, <laughs> oh, and it was amazing. I have like goosebumps thinking about it. It was so awesome. And we raised, we've raised over $2,000 for the theater and the, I mean, it's like been amazing. And we also, so many, it was the most reach we've ever had on a video on that Ghostlight Vocal Jam page. We had like, you know, 33 shares or something crazy. And all these people there experiencing joy and being moved by music, which we need. And connecting so, to, to one another, which is... Yeah. With that's one of the things that that's a, a byproduct of everything that you know yeah. this so this isolation so many f feet away from each other. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I yeah. haven't. Been, my husband's been the one going to the grocery store, but I've heard about like the X's in the parking lot where you have to stand six feet apart as you're waiting to get into the grocery store. Have you seen that? <laughs> no. <laughs> my sister-in-law drove by Trader Joe's the other day, and she said that it was like literally the parking lot was filled with people all standing six feet apart from each other waiting to get into the grocery store. Oh my goodness. But if we can find ways to solve that, like even if you're a dentist, I'm sure as a dentist or a hygienist or as the receptionist at the dentist office, you have value to bring your clientele so that you are helping them through this time. When it comes time to go back and book their dentist appointment again, they're going to be trying to get in as soon as they possibly can. I mean, we've paid our hairdressers in advance because, you know, my boys go to this awesome barber. We pay them for the next couple of, you know, rounds of getting their hair cut already oh so just i think about the fact that like there's ways you can show up and supporting and supporting others right now is really really critical and yeah. you know and there are we you know, we just uh m my wife last night uh there's the grocery stores that you can get your you know your your food at but they're, they're, the choices are very limited right now and it's very expensive too mm -hmm. uh but what she did is she found a local farm you know, um, th that, that delivers and it's a, you know, it's a small mom and pop, uh, local farm, but all of the produce is fresh and it's half the price. And so we're giving business to them so that they can stay alive and they can stay well. 
and we don't even have to go to the the grocery store for all that stuff. We'll go for the basic, you know, the basic stuff, the the wipes. Oh my gosh, that's something that I've heard has been really hard to find, and I have a friend. Yeah, I'm selling my remaining four tissues for. <laughs> I'm not. I'm keeping these. I love the smell of disinfectant in the morning. <laughs> my husband like lice all our house, our kitchen. And I was like, this is worse than if we had some actual disease in here. But the, with that, what an easy solution that someone could bring is to put a resource guide together. Yes. And yes. Like, I'm going to find places where we can go, other places we can get food, ways we can source and, and the, the restaurants that are still open that we can be supporting. You could build an email list. And then who knows, you could launch a business being a local food blogger where you're actually getting paid for advertisements because of showing up and serving during this time. Uh, I agree wholeheartedly. And you can reach so many people. The, the, also the idea of having like an ebook or a PDF that has clickable links. I did, a, I did an ebook, uh, well, just a few months ago, I was creating it and now I have it and I have it on the site for like, you know, under $10, nine ninety five yeah. for this ebook on basically it's, it's kind of a step-by-step -step on how to have your own podcast show, but also the, the computers, not the computers, the, the tools and the software and the microphones and suggestions yeah. that you can use. And what I do is I offer that as a free gift because it's, it's just a link and a promo code. Yes. And they can get it for free. And when you offer that to people who are really, who are, you know, who have a talent, who have expertise, and they just need to get themselves out there, give them something that doesn't you know, cost you much, but it helps them get started. Yes. And we, we talked about this a little bit in the beginning. I, I don't remember if we were, if it was before we started this or not, but I don't think... I really deeply, because I've been talking a lot about how you can make this shift lately, but I don't think I really deeply have put out there how powerful affiliate marketing is. And if you really, like those steps that I gave you will help you to be able to launch your own thing. And if you're so freaked out right now, there are so many people who already have businesses running with products and services services that you don't even have to deliver, but if you can refer people to them, you can get a referral commission. So all you have to do is have humans that you can talk to, which we all have. And you can share the information and you can be making, and that's the beautiful thing too. You don't need to even leave your house. You can just say, this is an amazing product. This is amazing service. Look at what Molly's doing. She's helping people. I encourage you to get it. And all you have to do is click on a link. And if somebody yep. um, purchases that, you get a percentage and it's, it's actually really brilliant. And that's what I was talking to Molly uh, before we went on. Uh, on air here, that that's something that I want to do to help, especially as a, a lot of women who are single parents, who are having to take care of a whole household, and yeah. they are not able to go to that job anymore, and they're really, uh, they're really worried and concerned, so I'm going to be doing that, networking with others, and getting as many of those great, really good affiliate um, uh, links and offers out to people. So yeah. we'll be, I'll be posting that information in, um, in the uh, description here as well, but as soon as, as long as I can get it up, get it going. But, yeah. uh, so yeah, that's, that's really important. And also it's a great way to support each other, you know? Yeah. And you're not going to be the perfect fit for everybody. So if you can, you know, celebrate somebody else, a colleague or a, a you know, a collaborator, a friend, another human, <laughs> right? And then we can all, we can, it's such a great way to support each other, which I just love. What is half, I'm like being attacked by the sun right now. Do you see this? Yeah. <laughs> the sun is setting and glistening in my face. How beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's sawing my neck off. Is what it looks like. <laughs> I'm being like attacked. <laughs> well, um, I just, I'm so happy that we finally, I, I got to get you on the show and I want to invite you anytime you want to come back. And if you, especially if you have a specific thing that you want to share with our viewers and our listeners, I would love, love, love to have you back. And once again, we're going to, we want to give out that link as well, right? So people can find out about the resources, get, just go to this, uh, this website because it's really important for you to gain the knowledge and tap into Molly's expertise. She has literally, um, she is a Facebook video content genius. 
you. you have been doing this for a very long time. You know how to use Facebook Live. You know how to use YouTube. You know how to use the digital world to bring about not only awareness about the work that you do, but you also help a lot of people rise up and not just survive, but thrive in their business. And that is a gift and that is something that should be cherished. So I just want to thank you so much for the work thank you do. And it's um, so for folks who want to go and check out uh, the wonderful work that she does and all of those resources, it's Molly with a Y, molly.live forward slash Christine. It's molly.live forward slash Christine. And we'll put the actual link here in the video. Yay. Molly, thank yes. you so much. Any last, any last parting words you'd like to give to our wonderful viewers and listeners? No, I would love to quote Poe from Kung Fu Panda 3. <laughs> okay. And at the, it's one of my most favorite movies, if you haven't seen it. At the end of the movie, he is trying, to, so Poe is this panda who's the dragon warrior. And he's trying to get the other pandas to be ninjas just like he is. And it's not working at all. And at one point, one of the pandas starts rolling down the hill. And as the panda is like rolling, being a lovely panda, it takes somebody out. And he's like, oh. I said, all this time, I've been trying to teach you to be like me. And the camera slowly pans in on his face and he says, I don't need to teach you to be more like me. I need to teach you to be more like you. Deep. And that's really the biggest gift that we can take away from all of this from Kung Fu Panda 3. <laughs> it's so true. So just dive in and figure out how you can be more like you and how you can serve. This is your time to show up, solve problems and serve. And the people who do that are the ones that are going to make it ahead through this crazy time. So, so true. And don't ever think that you, that you don't have a gift to share with the world or how that you can help a lot of people. You are not just a housewife. You are not just a mother. You are not just uh, an employee. Now you have the opportunity to tap into this amazing world that we have, this technology, and you're supported by people like Molly and myself and so many others that I, I, I do believe that we can, we can help each other rise and, 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 and not only survive, but thrive in this time. So thank you again, Molly Mahoney. I love you. I love you. I love thank you. you. I love you. And oh my gosh, how lucky is everyone to have you in their ear on this oh, podcast? Oh, bless you. So thank great. you so, so much. Good. Thank you, darling. You have a beautiful rest of your day or evening. <laughs> and um, I want to thank you, wonderful, wonderful listeners and viewers as well. If you want more information, go to outoftheboxwithchristine.com about for this podcast. And more information about me, you can go to christineblasdale.com. But remember, you want to go to molly.live forward slash Christine for lots of goodies. And I know lots of amazing free resources as well you want to tap into. All right. Until then, be safe, be safe, get your disinfected hand sanis. Probably can't even put that name out there because they'll probably, <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll put a block on there. Love you, Molly. Love you too. Bye. Bye-bye, darling. Bye.